कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव As you, as you know, the show is uh, just full of apologies. During my stammering in the beginning, I have to mention right at the top, we apologize for nine o'clock start today, very early for people listening to the show, of course, uh, live that is. But of course, not early for the Chinese or Japanese people who work really hard. Nine a.m. is middle of the day, so you know I'm think of it from that perspective. We're trying to change the culture here and get people to start working early. And we've had a miracle, Shreyas, who's a late Latif uh, in the top. You know, he's like uh, Djokovic in tennis, twenty-one Grand Slams. Abbas, who is like Nadal, <laughs> in, despite being injured, twenty-one Grand Slams. Uh, Both of them have made it before nine, and we only went one minute late because of the engineer who made it by eight. But for some reason, refused to start the show. He'll tell us off air later. Rishi, Rishi is wearing a mask again because he said three COVID cases have gone up or something in Chembur, so it's driven him mad with fear. So he's facing the wall and doing the show. So tech will be a problem. But we are most excited by the fourth person here. Now, when I say that, you might think it's Pamela Anderson, <laughs> uh, who for my generation was really hot and now probably isn't. But uh, very far from a woman with large chest is this gentleman. Uh, Meghna, Lord Meghna Desa, as we call him, who I dis- discovered is Shreyas' uh, cousin, and not only cousin, they spent the night together, <laughs> and they took a wow like in a Hindi film that at 2 a.m. they both spoke to each other that they'll be on time, and at 7:45 Meghna came here because you can see his social life is going nowhere, <laughs> and Shreyas at 8:58 like an Avenger walked in with two minutes to spare. Of course, yeah, but it was good enough. But Abbas, tell us about your morning because I'm so I'm pleased to see you. Still well, in a daze. Is this happening or am I dreaming? This um, is this is way before. So my... I guess it would be a bad dream <laughs> you, because it's Shreyas, me, and Meghna. So there's nothing for you. Really. I'm just going to take credit for this. I think it's so. my effect. You think? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm from Delhi and I'm from Delhi. That's enough. Oh, so that's enough. That's enough. आगे कुछ नहीं बोलना. मेरा effect मेरा effect आ ही जाता है ऐसे random. और उसके बिना वो feel नहीं आता. Delhi से हूँ. And because usually you have comics, no? Like now I'm a journalist here, so थोड़ा थोड़ा मैं जब shame करूँगा तो ज़्यादा उनको बुरा लगेगा. Meghna is already funnier than the two of them. Put a spin onto this entire show now. Okay, so be careful for God's sake, because that means that Shreyas will have to do the journalism for the rest of the show to balance it out. But I don't trust these anchors of ours. One is fast asleep. The other one has got COVID for the last three months. Yeah. So I've got the Hindu uh, with me. Uh, by that I mean the paper. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight breaking out here. <laughs> this guy hates the majority. He drags Hindus. Where is it? This is a newspaper called the Hindu, and uh, I've got my own stories to look at in case your stories suck, Abbas. Are you in it? Uh, no, but I was once oh, on the front okay. page, uh, sued by the chief minister who is no longer with us. Uh, oh. Passed yeah. on. So to... you don't trust Parsh anymore for giving you topics? <laughs> no, Parsh sleeps here, na. So obviously <laughs> nine is. A good time. Parsh again another Delhi story. He had a huge bungalow, seven German shepherds, thirty-two menials, a big garden, all that. Yeah. He left it to come to Goregaon, <laughs> and he thought it would be the same. And now he and his eleven cousins living in one bedroom <laughs> and urinating into the same hole, not even pot. I mean, Any, such a bad, bad life. Anybody who chooses to have music as a career is privileged as fuck. Yeah, Anu Malik, for example. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who's his neighbor? Which is just to tell people, Parsh, our new producer, not new actually, he's been around for a bit now. Uh, he's a musician, a guitarist as well. No? Leading guitarist. Uh, uh, wait, yeah. this rule doesn't apply to comedians. That we are privileged. Uh-huh. No, yeah, comedians are strugglers. We come you from. You went to Shreyas's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've seen the world. You said kursi nahi hai, plate nahi hai. Ko fork aur mushkil se fork aur spoon karte nahi hota hai. No, I was, I was just telling, telling you that uh, two years ago when we recorded How to Citizen, I had gone to his place. He didn't have plates. Hmm. At this time, I was very impressed. He had plates. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. And then when we were outside, he was like, "Ko main chair leke aata." I was like, "He has." Chairs <laughs> now. <laughs> One second, let me have to ask the big question, the Shole question. How many plates? Ah, the I had counted it. Seven plates. Seven. Literally. Seven plates. Yeah. So yeah. your your big party. And he had a big party. What about the big party? They have to circulate. No. We, hey, catch. <laughs> <laughs> no. And his uh, roommate was like, I was like, oh, I'm impressed. He's like, ha, at home with me. The plates. Wow. So I'm like, oh, that's true. What's the roommate's uh, roommate's name? What's her name? Ah, uh, Hoshang. His her his name. Flat. You got a Parsi Hoshang. male roommate. Yeah. Your life is getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Point. 
point I mean to say is that musicians when they start they have need to have more equipment. No, the uh, uh, guitar. Is there a gag? Double meaning gag? Uh, no, no. Uh, 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 like, <laughs> you need to have expensive software to uh, record that demo. I, I, I thought the easy one would be that you know Spurs goes home and plays with his organ. <laughs> <laughs> Very dedicated musician. Yeah, <laughs> but he doesn't go home. Now that's the thing. So, he plays with his organ here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do we have footage and do you want to see it? Please write in and tell us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aditya is like all the plates taken by Vishnu ji ki rasoi. Again, this is the other thing that we are trying to expose because he pretends to be this middle class struggler. <laughs> exactly, right? And then they've got seventeen bloody, and then they've got outside India, outside Asia, in America, Toronto. So there's a boss. Right. You can't have this double life. What? There's You're, no double don't life. Don't Vijay Malia me. You can't say I'm broke in India and live in a mansion in England. What's going on? Three days ago, I was in that uh, Vishnu ji ki rasoi. There you go. You yeah, paid. You have to pay. Pay, pay. No, I didn't pay. <laughs> Seven plates are missing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had cousin privilege, uh, so I didn't pay. So yeah. But by the way, Meghnath has been very surprised by the way things work in Bombay. Be it being on time or being writing deadlines for uh, other projects that we're working on. Because being a journalist, he actually submits things on time, on time yeah. unlike yeah. writers and <laughs> yeah. comics. Yeah. And people are shocked. People can't yeah. believe it. They're like, how? Unlike you guys, the, those publications go on air or go online at a certain time exactly. and day and all that. <laughs> we, we were writing a script for one production house that I can't name. So, hmm. uh, they gave us a September ka deadline. Diya tha, right? Three months they gave. Huh. And we finished like 10 days before that. Hmm. And then we were like revising everything and we sent it on time. Three days before. Yeah. Right? They were shook. Huh. They were like, December to come. I'm like, you gave us a September ka deadline. Diya tha. Like, they hadn't hey, prepared for it. So, we... They didn't read it. Yeah, because they couldn't believe like, it was true. And no. they didn't read it, it then. Yeah. They were like, we have assumed that it will come in December. So, for three months, they didn't read it. This is like Jaspal Bhakti's famous episode on the chief guest where he gives up his job to become a professional chief guest and like an idiot goes on time <laughs> and they fire him <laughs> they fire him boss time pe aa kaun sa chief guest time pe aate from there only is just a comedy of errors professional chief guest is hilarious <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he jaspal was a genius guy yeah. there should be statues i want to remove all the political statues in bombay and put jaspal bhatti statues let's instead. do it we have mm. some really great indians nobody even remembers them properly and then we got these jokers who supposedly run the country and cause traffic jams and we have to look at their posters every 5 minutes yeah. 32 people smiling all of them not good looking <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm, you know, straight or gay on this whole issue, but yeah. I'm just saying, Abbas, what do you think? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, one of Jaspal's uh, clips went viral again recently, where he he's trading MLAs with someone, oh. and the, the clip is from the early 90s. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. His thinking so, was fantastic. Very, he was very top good. of the line, really yeah. fantastic. Satirist. Someone comes and is like, MLA ka bhaw kya chal raha? And he's like, yeah. abhi bhi election hona na today. So zara bhaw thoda zada hai. Aapko itne mein ye milega, itne mein ye milega. And then the guy, the other guy is like. Jaspal ji, sahi sahi bhaav laga ho ya. The 2025 years back and it's still yeah, spot exactly. on. That yeah, tells you the yeah, genius. Yeah. That's a visionary. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. really. And uh, so, Cyrus, I have been, uh, basically since I got this job. Oh, uh, yeah, what's, what's the job? We have to discuss that. <laughs> yeah. that, that oh, was, yeah. Oh, what kind of uh, guy? You're supposed to be charging the show. <laughs> the only point was that we're really making it. We give you fanfare music also. Pesh karte hai. Yes, yes. <laughs> That was playing with your organ. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now we're gonna have a bit of a problem. The chief guest just died. <laughs> uh, okay, Megna, what is the story? Yeah. Huh. So, so who is telling the story? Oh, so you, I have to tell the story. Abbas, why are you on the show? No, no, you have to tell the why? story. Why? <laughs> That's so rude, man. Why did you get the But job? Now I have why? to like double check his uh, he credentials. Oh, oh, right. He doesn't know. I know. Of course, I know. Uh, I've been getting your work well hard enough. <laughs> you can't do homework on top of that. Yeah. A new creative director, brackets non-fiction. Yes. So, what voice? Bracket man, close. Tera voice over voice, man. This is Friends. my voice. Have you written any messages for this, or are you reading the caption from? I'm post. reading what he tweeted. Okay. <laughs> One second, he made his own description up. <laughs> no, I mean a Meghnath did. Wow, <laughs> some amazing Meghnath. What is this, yar? That's you what sound I, like. That's you sound like a politician. Yeah. Ah, yeah, be loco. Yeah. Yeah. loco. <laughs> okay, let me do the proper. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our new creative director, non-fiction at IBM Podcast, Mr. Meghna. Right. Thank you, thank you. Now that's proper. One second, non-fiction means our show. Yes, <laughs> our show is sort of non-fiction. No? I mean, it's a lot of lies, but. So, so make, make that one Cyrus, second. Hi. If you're in charge of the show, then what happens to my good friend, the guitarist, with the organ? 
No, now he takes orders from Meghnath. So oh, Cyrus, God. you just realized right now. So there's bureaucratic uh, involvement. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes bureaucratic. Doing up a good thing by putting layers. So now post Parish just to send an email saying, "Are we starting at 10? Yeah. We we'll have to go to this guy. Goes through Amit. Amit goes back to him. He goes back to Sparks. Sparks goes to Abbas. Who says, 'I'm not on today. It's Antrik. Antrik says, I've got COVID. Can you call Abbas? I mean, it's, this whole show is gone. It's not We're even finished. funny how close to reality that is. <laughs> what, what you just described is. Bro, I remember MTV when this email crap started. Well before your generation, the email was the big thing, yeah. and they would suddenly because it's being an MNC, so Shreyas would have to send me that an email saying thank you after receiving it. <laughs> wow! After receiving some point, it's compulsory. Compulsory. Oh my God. You have to send it on mail. But they, they, they used to argue in the appraisal meetings and all. Ki boss, but we are sitting next to each other. Can't <laughs> can't just acknowledge. This guy called Jatin. He says Jatin. Can't just acknowledge. You know that the, you know I got it. I received it. But you have to actually press send and all of it. That's hilarious. So, uh, uh, so basically talking about emails. a uh, year month ago i got the email that i got this job okay so since then i've been doing some homework he's been stalking us oh my so god is, oh uh, essentially he's I one of the serious fucks yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rishi pehla kyun bhi raha we would have given the wrong time 10 baje bulaya usko sale on my way out uber ke samne we would have greeted him huh. so i've been stalking cyrus huh. oh cyrus shit. says huh. cyrus says cyrus specifically says, yeah. so i've been active on live chat and talking to people etc huh. right so i've made some notes and oh, i think god. Uh, can, can you can you uh, first say no more t-shirts <laughs> i feel like a prisoner speaking of uh, i'm like uh, a watchman i have to wear the same shirt three to four days a week you know and like it's not funny and anymore. you can too if you only log on to ivmpodcast.com yes. and there's a shop tab there and it redirect you to the wonderful t-shirt designs you're still in Nigna's moment he's standing there <laughs> poised like premchand about to deliver one of the greatest monologues exactly. in history that is exactly and, what it is and, and you just went to sell t-shirts in the middle <laughs> So huh. I call this the Cyrus Cinematic Universe. Oh okay? shit! <laughs> the point this is, is that the podcast is not just about you anymore. No, it's no, also no. about these idiots it's, that. I, I will like order now without the panel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What am I going to do? Just exactly. you know, blow myself up, yeah. So no. I've written stuff about uh, my observations about all panels. So Abbas ke liye. Uh, He's starring as a bartender in the next Arbal ki movie, huh. right? Uh, has a no, collection. No, he already shot that, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. He has a collection of cooler T-shirts, but is forced to sell IVM merchandise. <laughs> has two admirers called Sunshine and Sarah. Maybe one. But you cannot two laptops. We don't know two two accounts. Yeah. Has two admirers called Sunshine and Sarah, which might be an ex-producer. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's and we actually had no females. Just yeah. to put it yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. For oh, some no, reason, the very first one was a female. Don't. I forgot her name. I have never interacted with her, but she was. <laughs> I remember she was before. One female. Anyway. You don't remember her name. I'll I'll, I'll find out. Who was out. the first female <laughs> prime minister of Israel? Do you remember that or uh, Bangladesh? Has Israel had yes, uh, Bangladesh? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes. Uh, first uh, one. Um, Yeah, you can. What was tomorrow. her name? It's a live show. I, I remember, remember this because you only could name ten names. Our prime minister went there and he's like, she's What? done so much despite being a woman, and that, oh, that who became said that? A, who said our that? prime minister. Which one? The, the only one. present one. The, the one yes. whose name we can't say. Yes. What are you saying? You <laughs> must not be named. <laughs> Your no. English is in the language. This is in Hindi. What is the exact phrase? I want to say. Mahila hone ke bawajud. No way. Wow. Yes. No. It sounds even worse. No way. Wow. Are you? No, I can't. I'm not kidding. I want to. I cannot believe this. This is. So I'll send you the link. He'll be cancelled today. That's he'll be cancelled. It's, it's not even that that far uh, uh, yeah. far back. It was like 2017 or something. What are you saying? Yeah. Shreyas, yes, or... get out of here, man! Say something. <laughs> You're the one who fights for women. You take them to dolphins and feed the dolphins, don't you? Yeah. So, This is uh, Sheikh Hasina. Uh, Voldemort, Voldemort, make that, yes, make that. Sheikh yes. Hasina, first female Sheikh prime minister. Voldemort uh, was he who must not be named. Yes. Yeah. Modi is he who must not be blamed. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, but oh, okay. So Antarik. Yeah, Antarik. 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 The comedians are not laughing hard because uh, this means it was a good joke. You can tell immediately the comedians. I know. Uh, I know. Abbas is falling the laughs. <laughs> Uh, okay, Antariksha. Uh, uh, just like his first name, he spaces out after three words. Uh, he has seven cars. I was fact checking him in the chat so much that I started feeling embarrassed and guilty after a point. <laughs> If alt news people listen to Silvery, they will have to start writing books instead of articles. I've now it's like classical conditioning, bro. I agree with you totally because I miss his presentation because I'm waiting to see where the fuck up happens. Uh, I think it always happens. <laughs> Yeah, it, it just uh, that's the stammering. But after the stammering, just go up in the fact. Yeah, he suddenly doesn't know where the fact is. <laughs> so he'll be like, and they came from uh, Gorakhpur. Uh, Gor- uh, Gorakhpur. Uh, yeah. um, uh, so in, the next um, story is from uh, Raigad. Yeah, yeah Ra- Raigad, and um, yeah, and uh, no, 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 and uh, that, I was coming to that. I was coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a it's a piece of art actually and i like how he says names priya and roshan <laughs> and then dad narang is the most simple punjabi name <laughs> your freaking fifth neighbor is a narang in bombay growing up and he said he said narang i'm like what do you want <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? These are names you've grown up with. What more do you want? But he's very specific about the place where the story is from. Always, Always. geography is the most. We important. have a story from Bangalore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like and then that, he goes. That actually is the best part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> the, the emphasis the on the city, you know. After the story, you always crap. Yeah. I think it's a triggering mechanism for you. Yeah, I because whenever you mention cities. <laughs> Him also. Yeah, Now everybody. Yeah. Now we all regular. Yeah. Everybody is picked up. I um, think. Uh, Bansika, make that. I uh-huh. spat on my mic. It won't look good later. <laughs> <laughs> Who's using this next? Abbas, Not me. Okay. okay. I don't but know. But this is not mine. Just clean the chaddi. That's all. Clean uh, the okay. chaddi. Okay. This is the chaddi, na? Mic yeah. Chaddi. yeah. So what do you guys uh, call it? Pop filter. Wow. Fucking on crazies. Pop filter. That sounds a little too educated, man. Chutney is better. Yeah, like much chutney. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any any other roast Shreyas jokes? Yes, he's in oh. the middle of it. You're done with Will you stop interrupting me? Yeah. Oh man, okay. Ah, uh-huh. Shreyas. Huh. Cousin. वो काफी है नहीं he didn't invite Kajol to his birthday party he didn't, yes. and he invited everyone hey, why else. didn't you now that he brought it up let's just have get this out of the uh, no we, I think we had a beef but now it's squashed like now we have why would you have a beef with invited. Kajol uh, I know she's a strong feminist I get that but <laughs> other than that uh, no the beef was because I didn't invite her to my birthday party that's when the yeah, beef that's 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 <laughs> but did, did you just forget like I would have or did you actually not invite so no, yes, you think she's not funny enough to be at a comedian's party no I definitely Sil- think Silvery she was is. there you were also in that you were also in that yes this said There you go, proof. I fell asleep. He did invite me. Wow. You guys were like, no, he never invited me. But why did he invite Kajol? He's dodging the bullet. I don't know. Uh, no, I think it's. Uh, I just have to uh, make up for it, and then I. You're very party. attracted to her, and you're not comfortable with how you'll behave in a public place. <laughs> Now you get it. Yes. Now you get it. I used to do that because I like a girl. I I would just misbehave. Like I'd be really loud around them, like a peacock. You know, when a that's peacock. That's why I didn't invite you also to my because of this exact. That also because so. I have to pay twice for the link. Yeah. I don't come in the morning, then go back, come back again. It'd be nice, yeah, to old people. See, chat. This is what I was doing all this while. <laughs> आग लगाने आया हूं मैं आपके देन ओके काजोल हर रियल नेम इज सुबह लक्ष्मी शी डिडेंट हैव अ गुड माइक बट देन आई वी एम गेव हर वन But then she was the only one who showed up at the studio in the next episode. <laughs> that was <laughs> when everyone else was, was at home. No, no, when you were the, when it rained a little. That was what? Yeah, last Monday. But that was that was a horrible feeling. The poor thing has turned up and our employees didn't turn Did up at all. Did you see how haggard she looked? Like no. she was like yeah, her she was hair was like all Gandhi Willy in rain. More than that, she felt like it was a bakra. Like you know, I've come all the way. I've come all the way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Rishi was looking at her quizzically and thinking, "Why? You know, <laughs> <laughs> we can do online if there's any parishani." <laughs> Stuff on Rishi, make that. Uh, no, I don't okay. actually. Rishi, <laughs> I have two more. Huh. I have ah. two more. One oh. is Ayushi. Uh, has a business where coal gets stolen sometimes. <laughs> so she's either owns a owns a coal mine or runs a popular tandoor shop. <laughs> or or diamonds. Coals become or diamonds. diamonds. Look at the kind unlikely. Of, I've never seen a because, car. Because uh, huh. she has a successful business, huh. but comes to this podcast to get paid. So maybe it's not that successful. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> Meghna, like, I'll teach you about Indian communities. Okay. <laughs> she comes to get paid not because of the business, but because she's Gujarati. Ah, uh, right. yes. <laughs> they they okay. always give you the the bill will be put in your hand. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, of yeah. course. Yeah, and, and the last so. one is Sri Ram. His hair is positioned according to how aggressive he wants to be on the podcast. Front hair means more aggression. I think uh, Sri Ram purposely tries to look as ugly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. He goes out of his way. He's probably a good-looking guy and all that hair, you know. And then he just decides I'll make myself look really scary. And then he goes out and pitches himself as a gigolo. And I think that's not going to work. But I, I, I don't. So like, it's interesting how no, none of you corrected me and mentioned what her real business. Is. Who's? I, I don't see. know. I thought she I was know. in shipping. Shipping, shipping, yeah. shipping, shipping. Gujarati oh, coal gets college. stolen. Oh, so it shipping. can be from a ship. Got it. Coal, Got it. yeah, import, import, export. Ah, Basically, yeah. they are the deliverers who deliver <laughs> the <laughs> merchandise ah. from one point to another point. Fascinating. And it's a family business, right. so you know it's already there, and she's running it. Right. I think she's actually running it now. Because Rohit Tatre is asking nothing younger. about Amit. Oh, huh, Amit, Amit, <laughs> who employed him? I should have written about <laughs> Amit. Amit and Rishi, I'll tell you, all of us. Will go. Amit Rishi will stay. You should have. That's the two ends of this uh, spectrum that you have to 
<laughs> to be fair, Amit's frequency on episodes has reduced a lot. So yeah. maybe. But that's also because enough. you and him together, there's no space. <laughs> to no, not to be disrespectful, but Shriyas is on my lap by the time the two of you come in here. Yeah? Right. I mean, what the hell's wrong with you heavyweights? You just bully <laughs> us. I mean, normal starving comedian who's got no work and one gig in Kandivli East on uh, Thursday afternoon with housewives to I walk know. out of. I mean, yeah, and, and I say this only because Silvery is not here. <laughs> But uh, Megha, that's great. Yeah. Now tell us about yourself because I thought this whole episode is dedicated to you. Oh, is it? That's what Amit told us. We you know, Megha has been on the show before. Twice. Right? Twice. 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 Yeah. 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 You have interviewed me one on so one. No, I thought of him do. as one of the. He's funny, no doubt. But I thought of him as a real. You know, the difference between us and say Megha is he's not that funny quirk, but he's also sincere. Yeah. So he's that actual mover and shaker. Right. Well, I'm just like a chuth. You know? <laughs> he's like uh, he's. He's got out. the chuth bit to him, <laughs> but he's a mover and shaker. He's going to look at society. He's going to put his uh, you know <laughs> put that little microscope around. Around everything and look at it properly. We are from uh, Govinda <laughs> film, whereas he's more like a yeah. Farooq Sheikh. Jane bhi do yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, correct, correct. That's so, a good answer. Yeah. So we get yeah. paid much more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have to wear yellow pants. No, no he said <laughs> yes, and he said Govinda because he doesn't come on time. So. <laughs> But now you can just use a Govinda go film. Wow, yeah. Subconsciously, my examples are also. Super, yeah. Yeah. Farooq Sheikh must have been one hour early with the script learnt and everything. A totally different world. Yeah. No, you, sir, uh, my job here is going to be creative director non fiction, right? And till yesterday, they didn't tell me what I have to do. <laughs> I mean, I literally came in yesterday without any idea of what to do. It is the most difficult job because there's no tangible property I can ask you to look at. And, I know. I mean, look at this show. We can't even describe it if we were dying or, you know, if I died and <laughs> right. uh, Epitaph was in the show. Just his hands. What will he say? Yeah, we used to. Whoever made it on time, we would just start talking. <laughs> but by the end of the day, I had like a packed calendar, and I had done like four or five meetings with other people because apparently go. I'm supposed to now give direction to non-fiction podcast. So I'm, I'll be giving direction to you. Oh, also. Wow. Wow. The power <laughs> dynamic has changed. I, yeah, I yes. What I respect is this is like I'm no. the captain now. <laughs> no, what, what I respect is it's uh, it's now parallel to government because from Delhi they will rule us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I like that. I want to answer to Delhi because it's a big city. I'm sick of answering to Mumbai. Yeah. yeah. This, this is actually a good situation. Uh, By the way, he's not moving. I discussed this with him. So he's taking this job. He's basically the most important person on not just our show, but about 10 other shows. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But he won't be here. But you oh, know, I'm Delhi a, people, na, they don't leave the chair. I know. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> what a great job. You stay exactly where you are and yeah. pretend to show interest in something far away. Yeah. It's fantastic. I will be seat. I will sit in the seat of power, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. He, he thinks there's man? power here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? this guy's drunk. Yeah. Where did he get him from? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe I don't go up your parents and say, "Hey, boy, the number has come." Okay. So now that that's clear, if anybody has questions on the chat about what Megha's role is. Uh, can you not ask us because <laughs> I think we've we've reached yeah. what we can do. Yes, yeah. a lot of people were asking <laughs> yeah. about it yeah. uh, on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, we do have real topics. And uh, yeah, I was like, you want to do topics? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I have my own topics. <laughs> you want to go south? <laughs> AI DMK crisis <laughs> with Panir Selvam being no, ousted no, no. and Palani I Swami coming back to lead. I have a better one. Uh, Why Anna- can't pronounce no, Panir Selvam? <laughs> a Nagaland minister, and I hope I'm saying his name correctly, oh, called Temjin Imna Along mm-hmm. from the BJP. has said uh, stay single so he was asked uh, uh, or rather he was giving his opinions on world population day and uh, he said and he's known to make quirky funny comments he said on the on the occasion of world population day let us be sensible towards the issue of population growth and inculcate informed choices on child bearing or hashtag stay single like me and together we can contribute towards a sustainable future come join the singles movement today i don't think he'll be popular in the parsi panchayat so <laughs> <laughs> with this attitude you know you bought I mean, mild insel aadmi hai kya <laughs> Really? You yeah. know what incel is? I'll find out. Oh, oh incel <laughs> is involuntary celibate. I N C E L. Oh. Yeah, so, so basically that's all of us, no? Growing up. Uh, that's actually true. <laughs> but some people choose to remain that yeah. way and then no, hate really. on women because I'm, of that condition. That's their whole identity. So yeah. it's like women like them and no. they have opportunity so, and yet they remain celibate. So their complaint the in life huh. is that uh, they are involuntary celibate. Celibates because women will always choose the alphas over the betas, and right. they are the betas. Right. So they they have already been fucked in life. Right. right? So then they will. So then now <laughs> they have chosen this life where they are celibates. Right. Like Brahmacharis. Right? right. So so it's an excuse basically. Yeah. For not being able to succeed. Yeah. You just pretend that's your choice. Yeah. Yeah. I like the thinking. <laughs> it's like I say I'm middle class. I by choice. You know. I decided not to get too rich. You know. Fair enough. No, yeah. but these people some incels then go on to be go on to carry violent acts of oh, terrorism because of the repression. 
fresh in the real world yeah yeah Abbas, yeah. I worry about you. No, no, I'm not an insult. I, can't you see? I have two admirers you on the show admirers. itself. That's yeah. two more than you, Silvery. <laughs> you suck a lollipop, man. <laughs> and then they've started this movement called MGTOW, which is men going their own way. Oh, this right? is which is a about. movement, which is basically them getting Heterosexual together. Men. Uh, yes, and mostly it implies men going their own way means men with men. Uh, no, it no. means uh, it means uh, men who don't want to get into a relationship, and now they can together say that they won't, don't want to get. But all men want to say, <laughs> usually all men don't want to get in a relationship, but want to have sex. So I mean, you've got something here. You've got no, you're describing people who want to be playboys. Yeah, but uh, in in cells are usually straight. Uh, straight men, uh, males who are not getting lucky in that. Look, let's department. get a proper example, then we'll understand, Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> can you just come on camera so we can now figure out this, this species properly and understand that? Rishi, are you a celibate guy? Huh? Do you do the doogie doogie all the time or no? Yeah, you won't answer the question. I like so, Cyrus. We have done something already. I have made moves on this podcast. <laughs> you okay, are, yeah, you right. You so made it a very relevant I, podcast. I gave a, I gave a tip to them. So, Bichara, Abbas, and Antarik keep saying, "A topic, karte na, topic, uh, karte uh. na, topic." And you obviously go on your own rants all the time. Yeah. So what I've done I'm is scolding you already. So if you Jesus. can see the screen no, right now, Cyrus. Okay. You, uh, I, Cyrus, I respect the fact that you don't respect that topic. <laughs> 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 That's what he's saying. Listen, yeah. Look at the screen. Uh. You see the live stream. Yes, control population. Yeah. So now that word will keep popping up. When we are discussing But Amit topic. Doshi Proprietor Points out that There is also an audio medium so Yes now, So now if you don't keep saying That that word is popping out I mean No, no but th- This is for your benefit It's only for our, our oh, benefit For the idiots The duffers who yes. are on the panel yes. Yes. Who yes. may not be paying attention And also it pre- puts pressure on you Because the chat will also see A control population Likha hai par kuch uh, baat nahi kar rahe uh, uh, So Now you add arrows to it And, and maybe uh, <laughs> your alarm, the, the buzzer can come The red arrow Then the blue arrow Something like that you just I mean Rishi tried The um, wrestling ring Sound effect for a while The problem with Rishi If I may be so bold yes, Is his idea was very good Of playing that alarm Buzzer Whatever mm. you want to call it But it's always late yaar. Mm. So you don't know Why he's playing it <laughs> By the time he activates it He moved from the point That he was trying to You know underline It's always late You have to practice It's like tennis refereeing him, bro. You have to get that Call out for the You know foot fault And all It has to come fast That makes sense By the way 21 Grand Slams Djokovic Nobody's talking about that Yesterday evening I was with three morons Who don't like sports So I couldn't even get into oh, it Oh me and the uh, <laughs> Yeah Sparsh <laughs> <laughs> Sparsh you don't like sport? He does like sports. Oh, really? Then? What is happening? Why is, why is Cyrus getting producers who like sports? <laughs> <laughs> well, because he's not in cell, no? That's <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> the problem we're having here. No, but uh, is, that, is that Nagaland minister an in cell then? Not really, because I mean, uh, the reason I found this interesting is he's made uh, funny comments before, like in humor. Yeah. Uh, being, being from Nagaland, he addressed racism by uh, putting a post that said benefits of having small eyes uh, uh, while calling out casual racism uh, he, he said stuff like less dirt enters my eyes also I can easily sleep when I'm on the stage and a long program so is going like on cool guy. So like yeah. a cool guy he's okay, I, like yeah, yeah, I, I like also him. like him yeah. I should have and him on the panel he's surprisingly <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly from the ruling party which is not no, known for it's very he's not very... from the ruling party they made inroads there and got people to join the ruling yeah, but party it's that... not a card carrying member who grew up thinking yeah BJP is in the bar. would it be fair to say that the current ruling party is not known for its humor a lot oh well so I, I, I can tell you a story which yeah. will disprove you right yes. so oh. we were in West Bengal hmm. and we were chasing Mithun Chakravarti okay right? so, if was you he remember, dancing at the time <laughs> so it, it, when they get celebrities to campaign right they don't put them on stage because they can't speak worth shit yeah. right and when they do they do film dialogues exactly so there was which this, will make no sense Agnipath in the middle of yeah. the room <laughs> what's your point here yeah. so Mithun went on stage hmm. and he made that dialogue ki, uh, you know uh, ek saab dasega to photo ban or something hmm. something caused hmm. a big controversy so TMC is like he's threatening to murder people hmm. right hmm. obviously spin hmm. kar diya. Right. so you know the reaction for a normal party would be that uh, listen guys we you shouldn't use this dialogue anymore it's cre- creating controversy Correct, yeah. what they did was they took that dialogue and turned it into a remix song so next rally that he went to they had speakers all over the place with that dialogue playing again and again with reverb, music reverb, huh? and people were dancing to it yeah. so that is why BJP all has the a Gobel sense style. of humor you see the lie hundred times it becomes the truth and just keep saying it so see yeah. that line you played on the baja taka 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 finally after 50 times hearing it people but, are saying okay maybe it's right <laughs> Gobels didn't 
have many comedy specials yeah, today. Don't, I mean, don't do more parallels. <laughs> don't do more parallels. You would do the parallels. Let it mean, go. Now, we, 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 for God's sake, you know, there's a limit. We have to then face people. No, but like that. I remember, yeah. this is again way back when hmm. uh, the Congress was in power, huh. and I, I remember Manmohan Singh said some share in the in the Parliament, yeah. and then Sushma Swaraj, uh, in response to that, she's like, "Pradhan Mantri ji, say that share is not being left behind. So I will then read for you another share. Yeah. So that back and forth was like in good ah. humor and in in in. in, 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 in there is a tradition of good humor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there is the last ten years uh, where we had this vicious yeah. abuse and all. It's not been sure. like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, there yeah. is so there is a particular section on Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha website. it's called wit and humor yeah. so like they take like excerpts from debates yeah. which these people who transcribe it feel huh. is wit and humor that is such a nerdy textbook they... <laughs> chapter bana do uska no, no, it's wit and but humor but they sledge each other with uh, good language and yeah. nice prose and facts and whatever it's yeah. great for us like yeah, yeah, in college yeah. nothing more yeah. than yeah, i remember even uh, modi when he, uh, one of the early independence day speeches he was giving he he announced some scheme in 1947 no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> in the last the eight years oh. he announced announced a scheme where he was uh, enlisting the benefits and he said isse chai walon ka bhi fayda ho jayega aur jab yeah. chai walon ka fayda hota hai to mujhe badi khushi ho jati hai yeah actually bjp is better at least in hindi they are better spokesperson generally sure, yeah, speaking yeah, yeah, they got yeah. five six guys who are funny a uh, lot of them could turn the phrase here here and there i think congress needs to buck up a little bit just join na it's time no yeah you hmm. will change everything i i think so too and also your disconnected thinking is also fun in parliament because you'll talk about dolphins in the middle of your know, <laughs> communal <laughs> riots i mean so you'll just change the game i don't know if i should say this off air but i know someone who's a regular on cock and bull who was approached by a political party to write uh, like speech not speeches but like copyright for them but basically. now you said it so what do you mean you didn't know you knew and you did and akash will be upset <laughs> <laughs> i've already written speeches oh, you have? for for parliamentarians ah, but that's so, that yeah. but do you bother to say i will only support this party or that party or your secular i mean it's their opinion they just have to tell me and then i have to write it down so you don't look at the party way. credential no, 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 you're, you're doing it like a r- randy yeah yeah, yeah. i'm getting exactly, money exactly. i'm getting paid I I will exactly. dance. Okay. Yeah. Well, my but, my job is to make them sound smart. It's why she has the podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's no no reason otherwise. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Huh. I just want to point something out on this Rajya Sabha website for all the humor that you said. Oh, you found yeah, it amazing. Yes. Also. I found it. Uh, they call it wit and humor, poetry and couplet. Yeah. The fact <laughs> that comedy and poetry is, is in the same, same I think yeah. that's uh, that should be the biggest issue but that should be. Couplet is a little dated in terms of what you want to put out there, you know. Couplet nobody uses the phrase anymore. Hey, let's now the couplet. <laughs> oh, no, you don't you don't get it. Basically the guys who make this website are lazy. If you add like a couplet humor poetry oh, separate alag alag tag banana padega alag alag pdf maintain karna kya kar rahe hai aur ek usme ghusa hota hai Plus it sounds good with 10 things hitting you at the yeah, same yeah, time yeah, yeah. Yeah. and you... plus maybe there is not that much humor but more poetry but Poetry can be funny yaar yeah. look at yeah. lyrics for example right huh right uh, there was a man from Kent whose thing was very bent that kind of thing <laughs> you know there's so much beauty there who was a man from Vienna who used to play the piano one day while playing his hands did the zip aur ke mein hairy bani aana ah ya 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 in china we do it with chili Meghna, you have Chilling to uplift well. this quality yeah. of your yeah. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> Oh. Let's go into a break. I think so. I, I, I think yeah. so. Ekna Chinde is calling me. He <laughs> wants me to move my car. Apparently, it's blocking one of his 48 cars that are just traveling right now. Yeah. Play the break, Rishi. <laughs> Bloody incel. <laughs> Or I just want to mention that 918 on this podcast, Parish the producer who is now demoted to I don't know what, uh, <laughs> he said, guys, topics after this. By 922 he's going mad. After this topic, Abbas. <laughs> By 930 I think he's uh, having spasms and all that. You know because you know, wow, I wasn't even paying up. attention to that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To, to that section of the chat. No, Girish Patel. Girish Patel is saying Amit was so irritated with topics getting derailed that he created this position <laughs> and appointed Meghna. So it's possible. It's possible. He, looked, he was looking for more order. There's too much chaos in our show. <laughs> so you know, too much what? Chaos, chaos. What is chaos? So one chaos, day, oh, sorry. Faltu ke joke mar raha hai. Wo aur tujhe samajh mein bhi nahi aa raha hai. In Malak, in Malak, she is. There's always yeah, one yeah. horse called C H A O S. Okay. And there's always at least one guy who's screaming chaos. <laughs> It's a law. He's like, come on, chaos, bago, 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 chaos, chaos, chaos. <laughs> and everybody is like, oh god, always happens. <laughs> Anyway, uh, topic sir, because topic, topic. is getting upset. Because उसने keyword भी निकाल के रखा है। नहीं एक बार और topic mention करेगा तो incel will 
become a real situation. Mm. Since you mentioned Vijay Malia up top mm. in the beginning, yeah, um, Vijay Malia has been uh, imposed a fine Four of rupees. Four month jail term for contempt. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and rupees two thousand fine. Out uh, pounds, two thousand pounds. No, no. rupees. <laughs> rupees two thousand. <laughs> but but then you know if you're going to pay the staff and all first, that should come later. I mean first so pay my, the stewardess. The you know I'm mean, struggling mother of three that kind of thing. You want to look at all that. My question is so where, if or when Vijay Malia lands in India. He will be tried for all the. No, first this is Supreme Court, so uh, they want him in uh, Delhi. Uh, uh, already there so is cases where he has to keep a thousand rupee note ready. As no, I'm saying they're going to fight over with jail. They're okay. going to have like a reality show. Each wow. one will present their case. You know, Yerawada versus Tihar oh, versus Arthur. I would love to see that. Yeah, and you have to present why, and then he can say no, I don't like the sunlight here. This is gym. Nahi hai. <laughs> oh, badminton market. Either King Fisher, nahi sir. Tihar is famous for badminton, by the way, for the celebrity uh, sure. prisoner. Mm, yeah, they all sure. play badi, and they got a marker and a coach and all that. Many of them get really fit. Some of them. Tihar is like. Known for good reform, re- reforms and like uh, oh. good. You and me the, provisions as the non-Hindus on the podcast. Yeah, we should <laughs> find out now <laughs> what summer house going to be like, bro. <laughs> no, but uh, it's important to refresh your memory that uh, Malia when he ran away, there was this big controversy. If you remember, that his lookout notice, which was, he downplayed it. So how did he run away when right, he had so right. much money? How did he get through? Yeah. So uh, I was just reading this. So there is a CBI joint director called A K Sharma. Okay, he. is accused of weakening malia's lookout notice and allowing malia to escape sharma is a gujarat cadre office and is the pm's blue eyed boy in the cbi wow the same officer was in charge of nirav modi and mohul mehul choksi's ex- escape plans oh. oops investigation this was uh, gandhi street <laughs> rahul gandhi street basically this is wow. what i was reading out wow so, so accusation so Damn. this accusation is that all three fugitives were helped by the uh, center itself ah, through ak sharma through ak sharma okay all yeah. those who think it's possible raise your hands <laughs> 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 It's a podcast. People won't see you raising your hand. Just for the record, Shreyas is the only one who raised his hand. He raised both hands, so yeah. there's like two people now. I think he's trying to make but a see, point. But see, I'm also an agnivia, so I don't want to say it on the record uh, that I support this. So I'm yeah. just trying to this keep it in the background. This bit is getting old, Shreyas. It's not Now a bit of bass. Now the pro- protests have also stopped. Listen, uh, if he's an agnivia, he's an agnivia. He's not our position to call him. Go ahead, beta. But Vijay Malia got two thousand rupees ka fine laga. बहुत ज़्यादा fine. But four months jail. So do you have to pay the fine with the jail, or you can take the fine and not the jail? But उसको यहाँ पे लाना पड़ेगा ना jail के लिए. But two thousand fine तो दे ही सकता है. वो transfer कर सकता है. You think? I think so. But yeah. then why waste pounds? I, I might as well work here for a week. Two hundred, two thousand is what twenty uh, pounds. Like, no, I don't know. Hundred, ninety odd, hundred, ninety odd, and the chat, one, one pound is hundred rupees. Chat, convert, and tell me. Oh my God! Now we're going to sit and do <laughs> currency calculation. No, no, someone else is doing the work. Meghnath comes and this is the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we're doing yen. Nah, people are going to start tuning in. Yeah. 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 Ye
each other and yeah. stuff like yeah. Yeah. people yeah. trying to what look at what the uh, happened to Shiv Sena and Maharashtra yeah. they came up with this whole orange plank and uh, Hindutva and everything they did correctly for 30 years and now it got hijacked by BJP and nobody remembers that they are the original Hindutva party yeah. they are looked upon as the moderate party of Maharashtra now it's so yeah, sad I how they fallen that Narendra Modi uh, Like it was inspired in a large part by Bal Thakre in, in his in his political Every, career. Everybody uh, going right like that must have been at least in the sixties and seventies. Mm. But having said that, so was Shinde. Like not mm. Shinde. He clearly said that he's Bala Sahib Bhakt for sure. Yeah. Just not Udhavs. Mm. I want to keep mentioning that <laughs> because that's a sense of nepotism being destroyed finally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chat has responded saying twenty pounds, twenty pounds, but twenty one point one six pounds is what Urban Vandal Vandals has said. Also, they have said two thousand pounds is. Equal to nine zero seven kg. Oh, ha, 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 ha. all right. I'm loving those conversations. So they show they're doing comedy now. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, so I I didn't, didn't get that show. joke. Yeah. I didn't get it. You, 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 pounds is a measure of oh, weight. Oh, also. You are the fattest guy here. What a, what a irony. <laughs> The guy with the most yeah. pounds, and you don't get the joke. Oh, I thought God. it's a like a gold joke or a drug joke. No, or no, 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 no. Our audience is like us. This <laughs> is the <laughs> intellectualized experience you're going to get. Yeah. So uh, okay. there is a there is a whole cult that has been formed behind you, by the way, Cyrus, called Brochers. Right. They call themselves the Brocha Janta Party. <laughs> no, that's just leaflets. It's found on yeah. the same message board as Incels. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they've started a Discord server without telling you. Wow. And I know what a Discord are, server is. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> the whole reason they started it is because yeah. I wouldn't know what it is. <laughs> what, uh, what is the Discord server? Yeah, tell him, tell him. Do you know what Slack is? One second, Rishi. कुछ वासी का बिल्कुल क्यों टॉर्चर कर रहा है टीचर को मैं इंसेल वाला टीचर बनाएगा अब भी इट्स ए सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म व्हिच इज गाउ रहा हैप्पी रिशी काइंड ऑफ एनीथिंग मैं मैं आई एम लाइक अ टेक मोर ऑन ही सो हैप्पी इन ऑल द कुन्नस कम्स आउट ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स लुक एट हिज फेस आई विच कुड शो इट यार ही इज एक्चुअली वेयरिंग अ कैप एंड अ मास्क टुडे आई डोंट नो व्हाई बट ही इज स्माइलिंग थ्रू द मास्क ही इज दैट हैप्पी दैट यू कैन सी इट या So Discord is a social media platform which is a combination of message boards um slack like uh, topics he doesn't you can know discuss, slack. I mean, what are you doing how do you explain it he's explaining it like a foreigner in a different you language you know what a message using is <laughs> abas using his hands to explain so like when you're trying to break a broken language issue with another guy have you ever used yahoo messenger Uh, I've heard of it, <laughs> but at that point I was completely not. I had no phone. Nothing. Who is this strange man who has <laughs> not been on so the I'll internet? Give you an example. I was when Yahoo was king. When Shami Kapoor Yahoo was king, I was there. When Yahoo was king, I wasn't into tech. Now I am. <laughs> so there is a Cyrus says Discord server huh. where there's a general chat room where people can talk about whatever related to the show. Within that, there Which are which we sub- created. No, we did not. A, a fan, fan created. A fan created. What it. That's what yes. I was trying to say. Dekar, you've done some superb research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and within the ch- chat room there are multiple sub topics so like memes serious discussions mm. sports guest discussion, recommendations guest recommendations wow. have these never reached you these casual guys- <laughs> <laughs> i'm just going to think what they did no they did did reach him but we didn't say it's come off discord because he would not know what you know credit uh, for the ideas that came from the discord conversation you are having in front of me at least wait for me to leave the room in front of me is he won't understand you but one, one, one kya interesting kya thing i was thinking we can <laughs> do with that discord server and thank you guys who created it uh, yeah, please identify that. yourself please uh, identify But yourself but they don't want to they're ashamed <laughs> someone, someone they called understand. Bruce Wayne oh, is go. the one who Bruce created Bruce Wayne oh. created your discord no he's Bruce Wayne no, oh, sorry. he's the bad guy Bruce Wayne <laughs> created it yeah. my idea was that they can also suggest topics now uska bhi kaam thoda kam ho jayega they do they do they do na yeah. yeah. so yeah. so what are you doing we will be stuck here saying abhi parikshit ka point hai what the hell this whole show is going sir we allowed silvery too much opinion and see what happens Huh. So, But, uh, so that we can use it in multiple ways, right? Okay, so, we'll try. Yeah, when when the guest doesn't turn up, for example, I know you won't try. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can also have audio chat. I'm so lazy. I'd rather talk myself <laughs> than listen. <laughs> Listening so hard. What do you say, Shreya? Yeah, Much easier to just keep talking. Agree. Talking yeah. is the way to go. We've been winging it since school. When the teacher <laughs> says, "Okay, who can answer number 11 B?" Ah, ma'am. And you have no idea, right? <laughs> But you put your hand up to kill time. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Sparch, this kind of invite link, we'll description. Me, I'll leave. So, guys, if you if you want to you join, know, you can. Do you know how smoothly? Sparch, that point wasn't there. Huh? That order, that order. Please understand the difference. Our side is a point, sir. But now, just Malik, Malik's voice is there. Malik's voice is there. Just please understand the difference. 
difference. Huh? <laughs> it's okay, Meghna. Okay, yeah, don't yeah. act all nice and all, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow when you test, send him back to Goree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do two yeah. more topics quickly. Um, the first one is there's been a growing culture of extremism that is being observed among UK and European hey, wait, police. Hey, wait. Chesnob is asking where's the Discord link. Now you can't just leave him like that. That's why I said Discord should be added. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that, yeah. Right. I'm behind the show. The show ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like Zell Singh, you know, in the old days. Yeah. So police forces in the UK and across Europe are suffering from a growing, uh, quote unquote, culture of extremism, according to a report that has come from Institute in- of Race, force? Institute of Race Relations (IRR), where they tracked some personal uh, posts, social media posts of the people who are in the in the forces. The police itself mm-hmm. of the pol- in mm-hmm. the police, and oh. they they realize that many of them have been sharing racist uh, posts and oh. uh, that go against of a particular. All kind. That go against a particular community. No, so it's anti-Muslim or is it anti-black? Is uh, it is combination it anti-Chinese? of both. <laughs> anti-black mostly. Oh, anti-black. Okay, yes. he spelled it out fine. So oh, half an hour the <laughs> I did not the, the Internet uh, Institute of Race Relations okay. did. So uh, this is a. Um, so there's a Ku Klux Klan group in, yeah, in the middle of, of the police. Yes. Yeah. There's uh, some of them have also shared uh, s- sort of uh, like. Uh, Distasteful jokes about things like rape and all. Huh. So considering they are in uh, the police force, you know how can a joke not be distasteful if it's rape? <laughs> the, the, the um, word distasteful is like oh, there's a tasteful rape joke. <laughs> yeah, Let me tell yeah. you about this young lady. No, there's no such thing. That's yeah. true, actually. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's a it's a cause of for concern. Some would say that this was always the case, but now because of social media, uh, it's it's kind of more out in the open. But I uh, think you're right. I think it's always the case. Why do we? Let's just admit now, human beings suck. And let's look at Indians. Let's not point at Goras. And black people and whatever. Look at us. We fight over caste. There are enough jokes about people of different caste and all that go on and bend their back. Different communities. Or forget Hindu Muslim. That's the for given when you grow up only. But what about like uh, people from the northeast, for example, or somebody from somewhere else, a Delhi guy in Bombay? It's the same level, you know, your prejudice thinking, whatever, whatever. So yeah. we, let's face it, we are the most racist, and we accept the. But if you're a cop, yeah. if you're someone who's supposed you're a human to being, control you still law have the same, and order. You still have, that's my biggest worry. When they work for the VIPs or whatever, they still have the prejudices. Have you ever been? A, you don't drink. Uh, mm. If you're a westernized boy growing up in the 90s here in mm. Mumbai, mm. So re- I used to fight with cops all the time. They just hated you. They hated yeah. a guy in jeans. They hated a guy who didn't speak Marathi properly. They hated a guy who was obviously from a different class, higher class of whatever economic class. And uh, you know, it was a big issue. So that, that's one thing, right? When uh, a, a cop knows, okay, this person is a spoiled brat, so they tend to behave a certain way. So. They'll be, let's say, more hostile towards them or whatever. But it's a prejudice. Ah, prejudice. Yeah, so Dem- saying, deliberately yes, being yeah, uh, prejudice prejudicial. Before he meets you, he's decided in his yeah. head that I, you suck. That's wrong. So and it's, it's so it's so scary because uh, in Delhi, like I'm just normally oh God, driving Haryan, around. Haryana cops, my God, very Delhi scary. Delhi and Haryana. Yeah. So, so I'm just driving around, and if a police van is behind me, मेरी फट जाती है. मैंने कुछ किया भी नहीं है. मैं ढंग से चला रहा हूँ. And 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 these गाली गलोच immediately they just speak so badly. Yeah. Actually, I think it's a better that way. It's huh. a natural reaction that I'm scared of them even right. when I'm not right. not doing anything. Mm. So I, if you are from an underprivileged uh, section of society, तो तुम्हारा that fear will be just multiplied. Both sides. Yeah. The overprivileged. Also to some extent, but much worse underprivileged because they can beat you or not care about it, etc. But considering this study comes from UK and Europe, uh, you think it's, it a, it's a global <laughs> phenomena that uh, the people in power will actually be more. Uh, so how do you control no, minds? That's there what I'm asking. asking. You can, like you said, the internet is a problem. You you can control a bit, like okay, whatever comes out, they will be careful of print. Hmm. But you and me chatting in the bathroom or whatever, how can they control it? So you no, can't change the mindset. But it's a, it's a culture. I think it's an ideology hmm. that needs to like. So you can punish people. It's like woke thing. You can punish people just saying the wrong thing, politically incorrect, all that. But how do you stop them thinking it because that's a different thing altogether get mindset as you said to change how do you do that tell me um by educating them what does that mean what does that mean uh you have to show empathy for other people and huh. all that you have to understand to be sensitive it's not easy to do that all right after some time you say the world sucks my life sucks uh, traffic is killing me uh, my wife hates me i've got pimples in my ass and i don't care anymore then i think the it's just penalizing all these racist microaggressions to a point where so they're scared they can do, of that that they do they lose their job also but it doesn't change the mind how do you install no, empathy in people, for example huh? we had vishwas nagre come on the show right he was yeah. so articulate the, he, but he's a, like he a, knew another level of human being he yeah. knew he had not knowledge across like he quoted an for, urdu, urdu for, poet for vishwas nagre patil we yeah. have 1000 morons we, we have one great indian that's what i'm saying we do so have great indians it's not like we don't there are yeah. he is an example that within the police force there is enough uh, you know there, room there are very good for, police officers yeah. i'm not saying they're not let's yeah. let's let's uh, apologize to police officers <laughs> they're plenty of great ones considering there are a lot of around your house nowadays no that's the yeah. culture outside. of psychophancy <laughs> i will never support that and it's there and it's mm. there in delhi is there in bombay is there in the south everywhere yeah, the yeah, psychophancy crap the i always say samaj 
seva is means you are looking after us society people they don't do that their interest is only on the vip it's always on the vip the body language changes vip is, you see the stomach goes in <laughs> everything is perfect once he goes they slump yeah it's like because i'm passing i'm nothing <laughs> oh brocha aa gaya to so the organization that did this research their director has given a quote liz fekete is the name of the director she has said our conclusion that the dehumanizing mindset and overall sense of impunity and entitlement displayed in police whatsapp groups is a symptom not a cause of authoritarian trends in policing will no doubt make for uncomfortable reading this was in the introduction to the report human being suck man just forget yeah. it yeah we got <laughs> but, uh, it's Dolphins interesting how much better no this is a whatsapp uncle problem also right, right? you know like passing, passing it on yeah passing yeah. it on. like aise nahi ki tum first world country mein reh rahe ho to wahan pe whatsapp groups pe uh, aise jokes share nahi ho rahe wahan pe bhi uncle hai unka bhi uncle mindset hai aur wahi kar rahe hain whatsapp pe kam kaam ke aadmi bhi hai those are people who do it Haan. you pass i know people who actually pass time only on whatsapp That's oh yeah my it. dad was telling me this Oh, I that, thought you were saying your dad, but then I said, "Let's back off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go on the wrong foot." But you are going in the right direction. She's playing on his phone as we speak. I think we have to have one camera on him <laughs> on this huge intellectual discussion going on to change the world and make it a better place. And she's on the phone. Huh. No, so I, your dad's friend. My my dad mm-hmm. dad's friend. Okay, dad's friend was telling me <laughs> that uh, he doesn't know how to operate Facebook. He doesn't know how to operate uh, Twitter or any but other social it. media. No, he's not. Like yeah. he tried, but couldn't use it. Instagram is out of their what. Reach. WhatsApp is the only place that they spend time on, and I saw his mobile stats, and he had uh, on a particular day spent uh, eight hours on WhatsApp. Wow! wow. But wouldn't we on a be, weekend? That's a job. We it's actually a job. That's like nine to five. Wouldn't <laughs> we well spend paid. a similar amount on Twitter, Instagram, Together, and Facebook? Collectively, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but that's the thing, right? So, like, I mean, there is obviously, but, but, like, we also spend a lot of time. Our boss is researching here all the time <laughs> for the show. Did you see the topics? Quality of the topics. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah I wrote. the hindu edition for today watch it <laughs> go in, go in the bible times uh, don't sure. say the h word uh, yeah. never <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we should go to the AMAs. I Wait, but I, I just have one question: Why is racism so viral globally throughout Are history? The oldest first thing that went viral was racism. I think Thomas the Hobbes, the famous uh, philosopher, poet, wrote not poet, philosopher, political writer, said that human beings are basically selfish, egoistic, cruel, and acquisitive. Males, especially. You see these four qualities; they're true. Hmm. I cannot. I don't want to sound cynical. Also, herd true. mentality, right? No, but we are like that. Yeah. You know, then, then suddenly, because of you know self actualization, you suddenly become anonymous and want to heal people here and there. But generally speaking, you're all looking out for yourself. What mm. else is there? I have a very low opinion of human beings, having spent many more. Uh, I like I like mosquitoes also. I believe mosquitoes really fair with you. You know, they bite you, they try to kill you, but it's always fair. They don't fool around. Yeah. Mosquitoes come, let's go for dinner, let's hang for some time, then bite you while you're sleeping. Yeah, it won't happen like that. Yeah. By the way, chat is blaming me for the early recording. I have nothing to do with this early yes. recording. He's it's the Mr. He's Brocha. A <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Brocha. I have to take whatever work I get. Yes. You know, this is what politics is all about. You know, you join the party that gives you an opportunity. <laughs> So I'm going to Royal Palms. No pun intended. But why would you call it Royal Palms? It just sounds like a masturbation station. He's hosting station. ceremony. Come right bring, today. bring your Royal Palm and enjoy yourself, beta, on the weekend. Uh, so yeah, I have to leave at 10:05. Uh-huh. We still have four minutes. Yes. Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Board Brocha. I'm so bored. I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay, just, just, just follow me. Avni Paul says hello IVM family welcome Meghnath Dr Brocha if we reach enough subscribers and viewers will Cyrus says ever try to sound politically correct No but then we'll have to worry the great thing is right now nobody's watching and also we get we like like my other political show nobody's watching so we can say what we want sometimes but we did it in hindi for 6 months and we had to shut it down We wow. had to we started getting worried why, why because people were sending feedback and all bro Oh and feedback and the feedback is never you know sometimes it's mildly critical but even that's scary and sometimes it, you know over my with she was uh, cheapness so then then we got a really horrible letter Hindi which I couldn't even understand, and the nicest word was Takriban. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What the hell is this about?" And it, it was and called us everything from sexist to anti-caste, anti-this, everything. You know, I, like a person who's on Mayawati's side. And our show was nothing like that, as far as I could remember. But you know, so if we get popular, we're screwed. Do not get popular. Thanks, Megan. Tell, tell, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to survive in India is stay somewhere in the middle. Mm. You know, you can have a long career. If you go up really fast, you'll just come down because someone is going to cancel culture will happen, right? Yeah. It's a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, look at poor Kapil Sharma. Oh. Oh. <laughs>
He's two minutes Driving. silence. Huh? But in Bangladesh, it's huge there. He's got a Netflix special. Yeah, well, he was crying in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one comes from Girish Patel. I, 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 for some reason, I got, thought of Kapil Mishra when he said Kapil Sharma, and I was like, wait, ironic, what is happening? But okay. What about Kapil Dev? Nobody thinks of him anymore. Oh, we thought <laughs> long and, and hard. And yeah. after he said that Virat has to be dropped, and then suddenly, oh, he did. Yeah. So the moment you make a comment as an old cricketer, mm. every contemporary cricketer now because of the internet, which never happened before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, spot yeah. what happens is now you immediately answer. <laughs> right. Uh, you don't know what's happening. Rohit Sharma said he won't know what's happening inside, only outside. But inside, alag baat hai, and outside, alag baat hai. You know what happens in the dressing room, and I'm like, guys, come on, it's just his opinion. You know what's the big deal? Okay, Girish asks, as a constitutional, as constitutional expert, Cyrus and Meghnath, whose sena is it, Udhav or Shinde? No, so uh, let's face it, the winner to the winner gets the spoils, right? Yeah. In a sense, agreed. So if you look at it clinically, I mean, Shinde is on top here. This chess match, he's won. Yeah. You, can't, you can't deny that. And you know, it's it's very interesting how people uh, don't consider this fact that the judges who are going to give this judgment today. are also oh. today yeah, oh. are going to set a precedent, right? So they are going to basically. Uh, but Vedha, how do you overturn it? Tell me honestly, what what, I is, mean, what is the reason that you can it's really? It's also give? a question Vishwas of. Ghat. But it's that's also, politics. No, it's also a question of who is in power, right? And how close you are to power. Oh, yeah. I didn't so get into that also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the judges might, you know, have some sort of personal sympathies or whatever. Uh, honorable but judges. Let, let, let's say they're honorable fully judges, honorable let's judges. Let's say they're honorable judges. Honorable judges. Yes. What is in the letter of the law? What do they have to uh, to overturn the verdict? No, they can't. So it's a, it's a matter of interpretation. Like, for example, like, uh, can a president declare emergency? It has never been answered, right? Because we only had emergency once and the president did declare it. And uh, On the behest of the prime minister. On the behest of the prime minister. But the point was that he is supposed to take the advice of the council of ministers. That is what is written in our constitution. But that night, when the thing happened, he she, he got a top secret lifafa, right? And he was told that emergency declare. Was it on the phone? It was just a and note. Lifafa. Uh, yeah, with like, the word with emergency top now. Written on yeah. It. yeah, emergency <laughs> now. Sign <laughs> kardo. Huh. And uh, his secretary was saying that uh, actually you have to go by the advice of Council of Ministers. But the funny thing was Indira Gandhi hadn't told the Council of Ministers. So which advice is he talking about? So technically that could be a loophole that a president can use. So what use. you're saying, the metaphor is basically like when my dad wants me to stop the cab he says beta call the cab and I shout from the balcony taxi taxi that's, that's what you're saying ha, ha. <laughs> no yeah, yeah. exactly uh, but uh, that's my point that you know uh, it also depends on who you are as a person and what sort of power you have and how you interpret it also so judges interpret their own powers all the time and farman pass but give hai. me a, if you were a lawyer and uh, in support of uh, Udav hmm. uh, defense if you want to call it that what is the point that you can give me which says you can overturn this uh, scorecard right now that they have this mandate that BJP and new shifts in I've got so one point that can be is that uh, this uh, Eknath Shinde faction is not technically a registered party like mm. Shiv Sena right so Shiv Sena is now split into two beach mein there was some news that they will start a Bala so Sahib then they could be yeah. like independent yeah. candidates who decided to support BJP they just have to but think then they have to the, then the government falls and they have to do fresh elections and all that but instead what is happening is that now uh, somehow Eknath Shinde is the leader of Shiv Sena is what is assumed in the assembly now hmm. Uddhav is not hmm. but technically who is the leader is what the government has to decide what the uh, but that depends on the internal decide. numbers of the Shiv Sainaks who are MLAs but again how do you take a decision like that That because Karya Karta no, they have to vote in an internal uh, so, kind of sure you'll go for the elected leaders you will ask the elected leaders ki hamare party ki jitne bhi hai, who do you only think only the elected leaders you don't have to ask the Shiv Sainak workers but that is my point that you know uh, technically as far as I know the law says that there should be consensus within the party and some interpretations say that it also means the governing body of the party no, no, other Baba. party workers oh, well, everyone no, how can you do that yeah, this, that's like a complete chaos doesn't make sense <laughs> <laughs> there are 20 MLAs who are holding positions and out of the 20 MLAs 10 go to Shinde 10 go to back to Udav or whatever you want to call it then you've got a problem yeah. Okay. That that clearly there's a problem because it's very close to call but at the moment uh, uh, Shinde has got his 44 MLAs and they've gone to the BGP and that's all there is but to that it. is the matter of interpretation right I mean like the so court has to decide this whole thing that you just said and I think that you're right okay. I will come back on this happen, subject but, yeah. but this subject is in a very grey area for a lot of people yeah. and uh, I think politics should be a little more transparent no, no? I yeah. mean which is why we change the <laughs> 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 we change producers asking. on Cyrus without any consensus no, like no, you no, no, you're producing no, no, no. it from <laughs> Doshi our, our, our home minister our home minister makes the decision don't look at me I'm like that uh, the guy who receives the emergency note I just have to open it and say what they tell me yeah, that's yeah. it 
Okay. okay. Two huh. more questions quickly. Yeah. Uh, Vinay Nair says, Meghnaz, apart from the move from NL to IVM, how has the move from Delhi to Mumbai been? I haven't moved to Mumbai as we what pointed is NL? out. News, News laundry. laundry. Oh, correct. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and she's happy. More on the first. Uh, <laughs> did you consider ever uh, moving to making, Bombay? Uh, making a move? I was just telling yeah. you, Babi. Tell, tell, tell us, sorry if your yeah. girl, girlfriend's ka, uh, Mary <laughs> wife. <laughs> 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 you partner. I call her my partner. Don't say partner. I first thought you were gay. Racing partner. So it's not my business. I won't say anything. Yaar. Now I find out it's a woman. Then I find out it's a wife. Later, he told me two stories about my partner. <laughs> My partner, my partner, my partner. Bibi ne bola. Ek bar bhi. Huh. But anyway, yeah. so I my partner. Listens. I hope what's your wife's name? Shohini. Yeah. Shohini, if you're listening, just remember this: huh? your partner. <laughs> partner is below wife. Wife is huge. Wife, mother is another uh. status. Partner ka matlab kya hai, bhai? Partner to Abbas is my partner. What does he mean here? But my partner. Huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, she has make the room ready. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I called her yesterday and I was like, "Ha, maybe we should move to Bombay." Hmm. If she immediately went on Magic Bricks and started searching for rent prices, hmm. right? And then she said, "Ki, yaha pe ye jo area hai, ya aas pas ka area hai, one point two lakh ka hai, two bedroom flat milega." And two bedroom. Like, what is this? It's called two bedroom, but it's twenty feet. I mean, it's boxes. Yeah, two boxes. boxes correct. Yeah. Huh. So I was like, "Boss, waha pe South Delhi me." It's like with a poshest duple I can get for like 80k with a garden dog with a, gar- with a terrace garden <laughs> yeah with a terrace I, garden jungle like, place everything wow yeah and with like trees all around yeah, and like and you say hello oh, wow. yeah. I mean, delhi eyes are loud but they're friendly no <laughs> <laughs> at least you don't feel lonely you leave the colony mrs kapoor is <laughs> say hey beta you know you know i mean somebody talks to you right. you're in mumbai rishi it takes three trains to come here nobody says hi yeah and nobody says hi hey, there is somehow. no resident welfare association here or what in in, in theory there is लोग कंप्लेन करते हैं having a bad day at least somebody talks to you yeah, then it's just the same the same and the same pe- people who you see growing up and hardly anything hardly any words yeah band is a little different you're a little more cosmopolitan but come to other parts of yeah. the city and see yeah. yeah. aditya is saying that you have given some galis to delhi people yeah, yeah. no oh. it's about the food thing baba Abbas is delhi anti-delhi. people when they come to bombay i shit on the wherever, food yes yes yeah. and they're like ke oh delhi mein so acha acha milta to mar khana hai tere ko kaun force feed kar raha hai i'm saying when you come to a oh. city appreciate you the have food a right tendency <laughs> luckily you're mostly in new india but others i'm worried for you beta the right thing is there somewhere i appreciate the food but, culture of the city but, uh, because they're critical of the food i mean yeah. come on yeah. I mean, what is this you take on my democracy oh delhi jaisa acha nahi hai if i don't like calcutta food i can't go there that's just, i mean go no, i'm saying when you go to calcutta appreciate calcutta's food so if you don't like it you can say it it is not a personal <laughs> thing yeah. Yeah. calcutta wala aur bade miyan wali baat nahi hai are nahi ye kuch bade miyan nahi hai ye aur bade miyan ka khana bahut ganda hai ha agree agree Oh my god. god. So I agree with you. I mean, But I'm saying okay. when you come to Bombay he's giving you, you a have plate to of kebab. Hey, people who don't understand will no, think you're saying listen, something listen. else. <laughs> you're getting a plate of hot kebabs at 3:30 in the night. Appreciate that, na? That's a different thing. Nee, you can see the Taj in Hello. the in the foreground. There are places in Delhi and Gurgaon you get food at 3:30 in the night. Yeah, yeah, milta hai, milta hai. What are you talking about? He's acting like Bombay is a special city. I don't have to. Yahan pe the city never sleeps. I have to protect my wallet and everything. Nagpur I can get food at 3:30. Don't think Mumbai is like chupa aur sab ja raha hai. पंजाबी तो छोले भटूरे नहीं मिलते यार अरे नहीं मिल रहे यार जो वड़ा पाव है खाना My God, he's taking it. Wow. <laughs> of all the fights to fight, samosa pao ke saath samosa kaun khata? Ham khate hain yar. Hamara pet bharta hai. The minority <laughs> commission be damned. The northeast racism be damned. Global politics can suck. Misal the racism in the UK misal. sucks. What tasty of that? Abbas is taking a stand for people who abuse Mumbai food that you can get at 3:30 the... in the morning, especially kebabs. <laughs> have the... you have you tasted the chart here? It's absolute. It's good. Garbage. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll, I'll, garbage. I think you go to some places today. It's not garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Is a strong word. Garbage. No, I'm with Abbas now. I'm feeling the. I'm feeling no, the. No, I'm just 
have to end the show. <laughs> I think so. I will go to Royal Palms. Is on the on the way to Delhi anyway. Yeah, I can stop and have a bite. Anyway, tomorrow's stream is at uh, 10 a.m. So, so please tune in for that. <laughs> well, I'll go back there. I mean, the I can guests go. cannot make it at nine, sir. Change the guests, yeah. But who are the guests? Shreyas can come back. He lives two minutes Sparsh away. Sparsh knows uh, the answer because tomorrow Antariksh is going to be on the on the show. Okay, so we'll see. It won't uh, matter anyway. <laughs> 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 That's true. Okay. Anyway, bye Chalo. bye guys. Bye bye. Bye guys. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus Says In, or you can email us, even if you're not female, on whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. Hold up. 